everyone, today I wanted to do my last Open University unboxing video because it's my last year doing my Open University degree which is the Bachelor of Science uh, Honours uh, Mathematics and Physics and it is my last year, it's my fifth year my first and second year I did more credits than you're like sort of supposed to for part-time so I brought it down to five years instead of six but I've got my two boxes here that arrived and to be honest I've looked through it digitally because you get all the digital versions like PDF on the website and all that stuff so I've already started to look into it but I haven't opened the boxes yet because I wanted to do this video I'll start with them this is SM358 which is the quantum world thingy I can't remember the names, they're quite long but it's basically about quantum mechanics and I think I said in a previous video I picked this one because it looks difficult but I'm kind of interested in it like in the actual science in it so, so let's get this bad boy open here I don't even know how I can do this on camera because it's heavy although I appreciate that it comes in two boxes rather than one there we go here we go, ooh it's not that many books which is quite nice, I've had I have a pile of books in the other room from all my years and some years, some of the maths classes you get like a stack this thick of books so I appreciate when it's not that much or I do wish they would ask if you want physical books or not because I don't actually use them yeah, I would rather have like an option you know, saying do you actually use physical books or do you just want digital versions because I would only use digital versions because I do everything on an iPad at the minute so I don't really need physical books but they come anyway so we've got three books and they look like that that's sort of the design that they're in it's book one, book two, book three so yeah, it's called SM358 The Quantum World uh, level 3 physics class and book 1 is wave mechanics book 2 is quantum mechanics and its interpretation and book 3 is quantum mechanics of matter so they look very very interesting and I do I'm quite excited to learn about it a bit more even though as I said I've looked on all the forums and all that stuff before I picked which ones I was gonna do and it does look like it's a bit challenging in terms of um, the physics that you do in it and the maths a little bit as well. The books have the equations here at the back of the front page. Those are the equations that I think you're gonna need for the exam and they give you a little booklet as well that will be the same as in the exam which with the equations without what they are if that makes sense just the equations plastered on it so then you get familiar with that and you can use it for the exam. This module the assessment has some like TMAs and ICMAs but uh, there's only like a minimum that you need to reach in those the actual final grade is 100% the exam which I'm not the happiest about I don't really like when they do that because I feel like the assessment takes a lot of time and personally I do better in assessments like continuous assessment than the exam so I would rather have that count a little bit towards it but it doesn't and yeah obviously with the exam I don't know how it's gonna be they haven't said yet, I don't think, if it's going to be online or in person. Obviously, the Open University usually does in-person exams, but 2020 has been online because of coronavirus. I don't know what they're planning for 2021. I don't think it says on the website yet. If it does, I'll put it here, but I don't think I've seen that yet. I don't know how that's going to work. On all the guide pages, it still says a three-hour exam. So that sort of leads me to think it's the normal one rather than the online version, but I don't know. Can't really say right now, but yeah, quite excited about those. And then it comes with another useless thing, which is a freaking DVD with exercises and I think there's some audio tapes and stuff like that in there. Where am I gonna put this in? Um, I don't even know where to put it. To be fair, I could put it on a PlayStation, that's the only thing that I have to put a DVD in. But I'm not gonna use it there, everything's on the website anyway, so I'm still gonna do it from the website, I'm never gonna use this. So yeah, I wish they would say, and if anyone from the Open University is watching, I wish they would say, do you want a physical copy or not, because I could have saved this, because I'm not gonna use it. And then it comes with your TMA form, which I will never use because I do them online and you're encouraged to do them online rather than posting them. That seems a lot more hassle. The contents list, which I should have read to begin with, 
But yeah, book one, book two, book three, the glossary, the TMA form and DVD. So that's what it is. And then, yeah, the glossary for all the books, which is quite thick. There is also a PDF version of this on the website. So honestly, everything you get here, you get online anyway. So if you're someone like me who prefers to study digitally, so I put everything on good notes, on my iPad and then I do it on Notion and yeah, I like doing it on my iPad rather than on paper at the minute because it also saves me space with notebooks and stuff like that. Not with all these. And then the glossary which just has all the terms and sort of it explains them which I think could be quite useful for revision before the exam just sort of going through a few of the terms and what they mean, just the definitions but I don't think it's too useful in terms of anything really I think it's, to be fair, I think I might find it useful if I forget what something means and I don't want to go find the actual unit where that's explained so you can go on here and look at it a bit more quickly and just like a short definition but otherwise I don't know what this would be for and then the other one, which I have here, is MST326, and this is the Fluid Mechanics Methods and Fluid Mechanics. I'll tell you the title in a second when I get this open, but this is the maths module that I've picked, because obviously because I'm doing mathematics and physics, I had to pick one physics and one mathematics. Let's get this open. There we go. And this has four books, and I didn't know that because I've been looking at it online. Book four, this is sort of what it looks like. It's called MST 326 Mathematical Methods and Fluid Mechanics. And the reason I picked this is because it looks like it's a bit more uh, integrated with the physics side rather than just pure maths that are completely separate from all the other concepts. I had uh, applications of probability last year and that's completely separate from any of the physics concepts. That I've done and although I liked it and I enjoyed it for this year I wanted something to be fair to make it a bit easier for me something where I would have already touched on some of the concepts so it's just building on my knowledge rather than starting from scratch on something else so I thought this could be quite good and it also does part physics part maths so it combines them and I kind of like that idea so it's got block four which is a smaller one uh, water waves and boundary layers and turbulence Block 3, I'm doing them the opposite way because that's how they're in the box. Uh, block 3, which has second order partial differential equations, Fourier series in Laplace equation. Book 2, which has kinematics of fluids, Bernoulli's equation, vorticity and the flow of a viscous fluid. And block 1, which has properties of a fluid, ordinary differential equations, first order partial differential equations and vector field theory. So all quite maths and physics combined and then it has the handbook which is really good all the maths modules at least all the ones that i've had you get a handbook that you can take to the exam so again don't know if this is going to be a physical exam or done online but if it's physical you can take this and you can annotate it which is quite useful let me tell you it feels like it's just going to be amazing because you can just copy from it but you don't have enough time to go through everything and that's something that i've learned as the years go by and i've run out of time in exams so yeah don't want to rely on it too much but you have it if you want to and this one actually You've got four TMAs, I think it has four TMAs, and the four TMAs are weighted towards your overall grade at the end. So the TMAs count towards 20% of your grade and the exam is 80%, so I quite like that because, as I said, I do a bit better in TMAs and assignments rather than the exam. So I like that they can go combined at least, I don't know, it helps a little bit if you have a lower grade on your exam helps boost it a little bit possibly so yeah quite like that but yeah that one has the handbook and then again the TMA form which you would use and the contents checklist which is just those things so I got everything that I'm supposed to get and then you have the study site thing here at the back the other one have that it did not so it just has the actual website which you would just go in your normal login on student home and then you pick your module so I don't know what that needs to be there but yeah it just tells you all the stuff that you have there and yeah all the other resources that you can find on there which is quite useful and as I said uh, basically everything I'm doing is actually this one doesn't have a DVD but there's also audio tracks and things on the website that I've already looked at so that's quite useful because as I said I don't use a DVD so I quite like that they didn't send that through because that's a bit of a waste of plastic and just 
I don't know, everything, people's time to actually create them. So yeah, this one has some audio stuff uh, that you can go through as well. It has some audio tracks with experiments and things like that, at least from what I've seen from Unit 1 so far. And also there's like a podcast thing, they call it a podcast, but it's just like a summary of each unit, I think, and that's on like audio form, so quite useful for revising or just, yeah, something to listen to as well. So that's all the books for my last year. After that, I'll just finish the degree, which I'm quite happy about. I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, hope you guys like the video. If you guys have any other questions about these two modules or the Open University in general, how it all works and all that stuff, especially modules that I've done in the past, then let me know in the comments and I can definitely get back to you on those. But for now, that's what I wanted to share today. And if you guys like the video, like it below, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I want to do a couple of videos on what apps I use to study and all that stuff. So follow me, subscribe if you want to see those and I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye.